Well, I loved my father and we had family restaurant and he was one of the top New York State amateur golfers. It wasn't about when he was going to win, it was about how many times he was going to win. So I just got to a point where I wanted to do what he did so I could be around him because he was never home. So I went to the golf course and I said I'd like to learn to play golf. He says, well, I'm not teaching you. And I'm like, well, how am I going to learn? I had to buy my own clubs, had to buy my own membership at the Nine Hole City Golf Course. And he said, when you can hit the ball in the air every single time, I'll play golf with you. So he had to send me to the pro, and then the pro had to teach me a swing, but I already had a swing, and then he started playing golf with me. So it was how it started. I just wanted to be like him and, and be wherever he was. He lived his dream through me, so I think he was harder on me for that. Um, he told me a lot of times I was never going to be good enough, and you know, like I'm like, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but you know, he just pushed me, and whether it was right, wrong, how he did it, he pushed me, and it's probably what I needed because I needed a lot of that tough love growing up. He caddied for me on the LPGA Tour and sometimes it was tough and sometimes it was good but he was always with a cigar in his mouth 10 steps back I'm like come on dad we got a <laughs> tournament to play so it was we worked it out and you know he's a, he's a good dad and he, he raised me in it the right way I think for me. He said that Everything that I've done in my life has led me to this point. The life you've lived has given you the tools you need to do everything you need to do, but you just don't know what they all are yet. So I live every day wondering what the next one I'm going to figure out is. I got hit by a drunk driver in 2010, and in that moment I knew my life as a tour player was over in that split second, and I knew I was going to do something else. And it was 2010, 2011, I became a class A with the LPGA and then started coming to French Lick. And when you drive up that driveway and you see what we're looking at, you know that golf is special, even though I'm not a player and doing it for a living, I can still do it for a living um, in a different way. I know it's supposed to feel great and special, but I've always felt great and special. Like, wherever I am, I'm doing the best I can do for, for that place, whether I'm the first or the last. I'm gonna come here and get people excited about being here and wanting to come back to here because I'm here. I just wanna be who I am wherever I go, whether I'm the first or the last, and just make it better and better and better no matter what it is I am. So obviously we want to, you know, do things for the resort guests. I want to try to do like a Saturday afternoon uh, kind of golf 101 or crash course, everything you wanted to know about golf in an hour. Um, at the Valley, we want to do things like wine and dine, um, play nine, go have wine at one of the wineries. I want to try to, you know, start a ladies league and not that I want to do all things for ladies, but I want to get people in, in kind of just inspired to just get out and do more at the golf course or the local businesses. Let's, let's give the guests as many things as we can to keep them wanting to come back to the golf side of, of French Lake. I live my life by faith. I've never looked for a job in my life. They found me. I have I just know I'm supposed to be where I'm at. I know that everything I'm doing is the right thing. Um, I've never done the wrong thing because where you are is where you're supposed to be. And I, you know, I, losing my mom a few weeks ago, I thought that would be the world's worst thing that could happen is losing a parent. And then two days later, French Lake calls me. I don't know, I'm just doing me. I don't know how it's all worked out, but I live by faith and here I am because of it. I'm going to keep cooking people dinner and keep having you over and keep getting people excited about golf and inspire my staff to be better and, and to do more and not just to be okay with coming to work every day. Let's do more and let's get them someplace special where, where they want to be too. What golf has done for me is taken me to 27 countries, 
I've played I don't know how many tournaments. I've been in majors all across the country and the world, and it's never been about the golf, it's been about the people. I can go to any state in this country that I have played golf in, and they can't wait to have me back to cook them a meal. Like, that's just my thing, you know? Um, tour players all over the country have sent me a message on Facebook and said, man, French Lick, French Lick wins. And I didn't realize French Lick won by getting me, but I guess French Lick wins. But I don't, I don't see it like, I just see I'm just me and I'm just glad they chose me and I can't wait to, you know, do great things here for them.